In this demo, we will take a look at the MEC1 evaluation kit and how we can achieve 3D positioning with several kits. Looking closer at the board, we have the Mod1 module, we have the USB Type-C connector for power and data, we have the on-off switch, and we have the mode switch, which designates the board as an anchor or a tag. In this demo, we'll use six MEC boards where five are anchors and one is a tag. We plug in the USB cable, turn on the MEC1 board, and position the anchor. Then we measure the X, Y, and Z spatial coordinates and record them. We will program each of these coordinates in, of each of the anchor in the configuration tool. Then we switch the mode on the MEC1 to tag and connect the board to the PC. Then we affix it to the PC so we can move it around with the tag board while connected to the PC. In the PC configuration tool, we configure all of the X, Y, and Z anchor positions to the MEC1 tag board and save the setting. Our ultra-wideband setup is now ready for 3D positioning services. A quick view of the room shows the anchor positions and gives you an idea of where they are. The MEC1 board computes its real-time position based on the X, Y, and Z anchor positions that were previously configured. The data is sent to the PC tool through the VCOM USB service and is explained as the green dot on the GUI. The data can be streamed real-time through the VCOM or visualized as shown in this video.